Hello everyone, Dr. Ashes here. Today I want to discuss about the antiviral activity of the green tea. It is very important, especially right now that we're dealing with the coronavirus. Anything that have an antiviral activity could be a help for us. So many friends of mine in Brazil and in Peru and also in India, as well as China, they're using green tea right now in a very high dosage. So let's discuss about this matter. First of all, green tea is uh, from the same tree as a black tea called Camellia sinensis. And the differences between these two is that the green tea is the leaf from this tree that does not do any process on it. It means they directly get it from the tree, they dry it, and it's ready for consumption. The benefit of this process is that all the compounds, antiviral, anti-cancer, and anti-radical that is inside this uh, leaf will be saved and we can get the benefit from it. But the trick is when we want to use green tea as a medicine, we must use it in a very high concentration. So the normal tea that is very thin is not no use as a medicine. We must make it very concentrated, at least five times more concentrated to be a very dark green and then consume it. In case you already got sickness from flu virus or unfortunately from coronavirus, I suggest you at least take it two times a day and you mix it with a quinine and and take it it could be beneficial for you there's no cure but it could be helpful because it is antivirus and what is the antiviral compound from the green tea they are polyphenolic compounds and uh, they are from green tea catechins uh, and the most important uh, compound in this group is a uh, epigallocatechin 3 gallet and uh, or egcg and this compound basically can react to the surface protein of the virus. What does it mean? It means the virus have a protein on the surface which can detect and bind to the receptors of our cell and then enter our cell. This compound can react with this protein and when they react with this protein, this protein are not free to, uh, to find the receptor on our cell and then enter our cell. This is a very simple way of explanation. Therefore, virus cannot enter our cell, so we can stay safe and or less infected, means less cells can get infected by the virus. So that's it for today. If you find this uh, video helpful, please subscribe and share it with your friend. And if you have any question, please uh, leave, in the, leave the comment. And till next time, I wish you all stay safe and well. Till next time.